Yeah. What are you doing? First, can you talk, can you show her the switch, mm -hmm. Scott? Mm -hmm. And say that if you if you needed to turn it if you needed to turn it manual, you do this. On the front of each of the motors here, there's a little lever. We have to Sorry. flip it out. So this this is locked. This is if you have to push. So right now they're both unlocked. So during power it. mode. Oh, it's unlocked. The chair weighs 400 pounds. But it, I don't think I ever push it though, right? In an emergency. In, a, in a complete emergency, like for two minutes time, maybe. I'm for whatever it takes you to get to where you have to go if something's not working. Yeah. You're never going to push it though, but I just wanted to know. Like, no, I know. In I a know. severe can emergency. You, can you? Yes. And it would have to be an absolute severe emergency because you're not going to be able to push this up a ramp, up a hill, anything like that. Take two or three people to do that. And it don't, it don't have the... It'll have handles on it, but it's still going to weigh about 400 pounds plus or Yeah. But it's just, it, well, this one is a little lighter, but I only push this manually if it's in an emergency. So yeah. It needs to have it. Because yeah, all chairs have the ability to push it manually. It's just whether or not you're going to be able to physically do it is the question. Okay. You can flip the switches. That doesn't mean you may need more than one more person strength. to move the chair. Yeah. Yeah, but that you can always get that. Even people off the street sometimes help me. I mean, I'm, I'm, I hate it when it happens, but I've had I issues know. where I call somebody off the street. I usually get yeah. three men, and, and uh, they do it. Yeah. They've lifted me off of the sidewalk. So, anyway, he, he wanted to see the things. Uh, yeah. What are you doing? I am That's tilting. Tilting right now. Just hold that button down until it stops moving. I hate the complete tilt though, but I'll get used to it. I'm behind you, so you know it's so far. People recline on these things on like on boats and they fall asleep, you know that? Mm -hmm. I have friends that Okay, let's keep going, keep going. I'm right here, right here. There you go. Okay. Good night. Good night, good, yay. We finally found her off button. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, recline, right? Scott? You're just going to go back in more? You're going to go back more? Can you do that? Or is it dangerous? No, it's not dangerous at all. It's designed for this. Mm -hmm. Now you might as well put your feet up while you're at it. <laughs> Other way. That one. This would actually get your feet above your heart for circulatory reasons. Hey, Scott, can you grab it, please? Yeah. Explain what you just said. Being back in this tilted position with the recline, you're able to get your feet completely above your heart, which is good for circulation. It gives you the most benefit of using the positioning components. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I'm going back to. No. <laughs> She's like, I want out of this scrap. <laughs> This must be good for people that have pressure sores, huh? Yeah, that's what it's designed for. They have bed sores or something? Yes. Now lift your legs. Lift, um, like, it was this one, right? Mm -hmm. That's the elevator. Go oh, up or down? Up for the legs. That's for the no, whole you're body. Right now. You're elevating the whole thing. Uh, I have to learn these symbols. They should be pretty straight forward. Well, know. if you look at where look the arrows are on them, it shows you what's gonna move. This, oh, okay. You see this one? I I, I looked at it. Forward, do, do they? You were telling me why do they, are they this far out right now? They don't have to be that far out, but they how, have to how be... Do you, how do you make them back to, like, not being... I press far? the other direction. 
okay. And then when this, whenever you see, you see how everything's green on this screen right now? Yeah, it's right? back to normal. Right? If I go to where it turns yellow, I mean, that means it's going to inhibit the chair. It's going to slow the chair down. So it'll stop, actually, when it gets to the spot. There. That's where it'll be normal. And then you have, let me get this arrow. But that's like almost five inches from where her feet are to where the foot pegs are. Well, that's are. because this isn't her chair. Okay. So, whenever you use any of these functions, if they turn yellow, it's going to inhibit the chair, meaning it's going to slow the chair down. And if any of them, like, go off, let's just say if we tilt the chair, that elevator is going to turn off when we hit a certain degree, meaning you can't use it when it's, when it's not lit up at all. So, first we're going to see an inhibit come up at some point. That's going to tell the chair it can't drive at normal speed. This one's obviously programmed a little funky. All right, so there the elevator went off. We can't elevate the chair if we wanted to. Okay. But if we tilt it and continue to do so, everything goes yellow. So now you're not able to drive the chair at normal speed. It, your chair will not take this long to go into that inhibit. This one's been programmed to go into the vans that we use. Okay. Yours will yours will cut out a lot sooner. If I sooner. needed to reprogram it for whatever reason, nobody else can do it but you guys, right? That's you right. Have... You have to have what's it's called a dongle. It's a little programmer it's, that you. I know it's like a machine. I've seen it. It's different on a permobile. It actually you have to unplug the joystick and it plugs in in the middle there and then it accesses. So the usually people just pick the speed they most like and they stick to it. Pretty much. If you have to have any programming changes made, you have to have us come out and do it. How many, how often do people that are here in the States come into your shop and Once they have it, once they have it the way they like it, they don't generally mess with it. But if you have somebody who's new to the chair and we usually will like eliminate some of the speeds or some of the power or something like that and we give it back to them as they get used to the chair. You've been using a chair so it wouldn't really be that way with you because you're already a chair user. Okay, uh, just to remind you guys, Carla is doing Botox so... Based on that concept, Carla will be back between every three to six, no, three, to three to four months max. Mm -hmm. So, meaning, based on that, could Carla come and you guys tweak, change, do this, no, do that? I, if there's anything wrong, I, absolutely. I probably, chances are, Scott, I'm not going to be traveling with this chair because people mm -hmm. in the airlines destroy it. I travel mm -hmm. with the backup chair. That's fine. The other. Anyway. Uh, any other curiosities that I that my parents should know for now? I know we're gonna go through like later, but anything else? Um, Nothing I can think everything's of. Everything's gonna be leather, and what about the cushion and everything? Like Actually, that? no, we're not doing leatherette. It's all gonna be mesh, so it doesn't cause her to sweat, and deteriorate okay. the skin. And what about your cushion? Everything's gonna be cushion. Gonna no, be I don't need a cushion for this one because the the reason I need a cushion for the other one is it's too deep. They did the wrong measurements on that chair. So, She's this, talking about the small little blue cushion. The lumbar cushion? Yes. This, this one we'll, is we'll going to be like... Yours is going to have lumbar built into it instead of having a special, you know, or an extra pillow in it. You won't need that. You shouldn't need that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because that's the, that's the part that is a pain. I want to be able to sit in a chair without having to, yeah, you know, okay. for it to be custom. Mm -hmm. And so that's why you sit and measure properly. You mm -hmm. can't. Okay, and for the headrest, it's exclusive to a permobile, right? So I have to use a specific headrest for it. No, you don't have to, but I don't see any particular.